It can be difficult to detect a recurrence of cancer. Now, for some, there's a technique that can help when other methods fail. And a new study from the BC Cancer Agency shows that it can also help change a patient's course of treatment. So you thought that was good, eh? I thought that was very good. Diane Waters has been through a lot. Three years ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I had a, a lumpectomy and a mastectomy, and um, everything went fine. And uh, then about a year, maybe nine months later, it metastasized to the, to the breastbone. And her cancer was spreading quickly. We knew that this cancer was on the run, and we knew that there were dark spots in the body, but we didn't know how much activity was going on in those dark spots. We need to lie down on the bed. That's when Diane's doctor sent her for a PET scan, a new imaging technique that can detect recurrences of cancer when other methods fail. It is uh, more sensitive because it actually picks up the activity of disease and what you're looking at here is the activity of a, of a, of a cancer tumor as it grows. The technology uses a radioactive tracer that concentrates in cancer cells. Now, a study by the BC Cancer Agency and the only private PET scan clinic in Canada has proven the body scans are safe and accurate. We achieved a 90% accuracy for the ability to detect cancer overall. That's the average. And 65% uh, of the patients that were here, uh, their, um, um, their treatment that it, they had already been prescribed was changed or, or influenced by the PET scan. We knew exactly where the activity was. And in this case, it was very heavily concentrated in the liver and in the breastbone, some in the... In the um, lung and the kidney and the bone. But without the PET scan, we wouldn't have been able to see that. PET scans are useful in certain so cancers to help detect better. the stage of the disease and which treatments may be the most effective. Lung cancer. Thoracic surgeon Dr. Kenneth Evans has referred over 200 patients for PET scans. The PET scan for certain types of cancer, because it's what we call a metabolic scan, is, is a very accurate test for detecting spread of certain types of cancers. Although proven effective, a PET scan is not covered by the medical services plan. It costs $2,500. Yeah. Money, Diane says, was well spent. It helped her get the treatment she needed. And it's a lot of money. There's no question about it. But, you know, we're talking about your life here. A life the 60-year-old is still busy planning with her husband, well, we Don. Were, we, we were met, meant to be together. I think so. Now and always. Well, Dr. Rhonda, are PET scans better than the MRIs or the CT scans that pa patients currently receive? Well, you know, Mija, I don't think that PET scans will replace these other modalities at all because each of these imaging techniques gives different types of information. So depending on the type and severity of cancers, doctors will use one or a combination of these imaging techniques to help decide what the best treatment is. Now, PET scans will tell you whether a suspicious looking area in the body is active cancer or not, where CT scans and MRIs tell you where something is in the body and how big it is. So will the BC Medical Plan pay for any PET scans? No, nope, not at all. And even if it's recommended by your doctor, currently all patients are paying the $2,500 PET scan fee themselves. The only way right now to get the cost covered is if it is included as a specific part of a research study. Now, the use of PET scans is still new in Canada, so the BC Cancer Agency has just received approval in principle from the government to acquire a machine for research and patient care, which is at least hopeful for the future. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, given this new study, would all cancer patients benefit from PET scans? You know, that's the important point here. PET scan is not for everyone with cancer. So far, research has proven it useful in specific circumstances, such as pre operatively for lung cancer and decision making in recurrent colorectal cancer, breast cancer, lymphoma, melanoma, sarcomas and skin cancer involving the head and neck. And likewise, it's not useful for healthy people who just want to screen for the presence of any cancer in the body because any infections or inflamed tissue can give you a false positive. Thank you very much, Dr. Rhonda.